We're going to look at solving a pair of simultaneous linear equations. First, let's look at a single straight line, y equals x. As the slope changes, we add a coefficient to x, m. This is called the gradient. This can be bigger than 1, therefore the line is steeper, or less than 1, and the slope is less steep. The line can move up or down the axis by addition of a constant c. This is known as the y-intercept. If there is zero gradient, the line is horizontal, and y does not change with x. Of course, it's also possible to have a negative gradient. This means that as x increases, y decreases. Now let's add a second straight line. We're interested in finding out where the two lines intersect or meet. We're going to solve an example which has specific values of m and c for each function. We could solve it visually, reading the coordinates of intersection from the graph. It's a little amb ambiguous, though, as to how precise the result is. It is more accurate to solve the problem analytically. We're looking for the point where y and x is the same for both functions. So if the y's are the same, we can simply get rid of them and set the functions as equal to one another. Now we look to group similar terms and move all the x's together. Note that we change the sign as we change sides on the equation. We simplify the equation by adding terms and divide both sides by 1.5 and we have our value for x. Turning this into a proper fraction, we find that x is equal to 2 thirds. If we now refer back to the, one of the original equations, we see that y is equal to x plus 2. So y is now equal to 2 thirds plus 2. Therefore, y is equal to 2 and 2 thirds. And this confirms the values that we read off the axes. A pair of simultaneous linear equations solved.